Now I want to turn to the situation at the Chernobyl nu nuclear power plant. CNN was given exclusive access to the plant for the first time since it came back into Ukrainian control. And what we found is really concerning. Here's CNN's Frederick Plykin with more. Hi there, Don. You know, the Ukrainians from the very beginning, when the Russians took over the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, they said they were absolutely concerned about what those forces were doing there. And when we got there, there were two things that really crystallized. On the one hand, the Russians treated the Ukrainians there really badly, but it also seems they may have inadvertently allowed their own forces to get exposed to massive radiation. Here's what we found. Simply getting to the Chernobyl exclusion zone is a treacherous journey. Many streets and bridges destroyed, we had to go off-road, crossing rivers on pontoon bridges. Finally, we reached the confinement dome of the power plant that blew up in 1986, the worst nuclear accident ever. Russian troops invaded this area on the very first day of their war against Ukraine and took Chernobyl without much of a fight. Now that the Russians have left, Ukraine's interior minister, Denis Monastirsky, took us to Chernobyl, and what we found was troubling. The Russians imprisoned the security staff inside the plant's own bomb shelter, the interior minister told us. No natural light, no fresh air, no communications. So the Russians kept 169 Ukrainians prisoner here the entire time they held this place. And then when the Russians left, they looted and ransacked the place. Among the prisoners, police officers, National Guard members and soldiers. Ukraine's interior minister tells me the Russians have now taken them to Russia and they don't know how they're doing. When I arrived here, I was shocked, he says, but only once again realized that there are no good Russians and nothing good comes of Russians. It is always a story associated with victims, with blood and with violence. What we see here is a vivid example of outrageous behavior at a nuclear facility. While the plant's technical staff was allowed to keep working, the Ukrainians say Russian troops were lax with nuclear safety. And as we enter the area Russian troops stayed and worked in, suddenly the dosimeter's alarm goes off. Increased radiation levels. They went to the Red Forest and brought the radiation here on their shoes, this National Guardsman says. Everywhere else is normal, only this floor is radioactive. I ask, everywhere is okay, but here is not normal? Yes, he says, the radiation is increased here because they lived here and they went everywhere. On their shoes and clothes, I ask? Yes, and now they took the radiation with them. Let's get out of here, I say. The so-called Red Forest is one of the most contaminated